Dr. Shai Efrati monitors a patient inside his hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Efrati's team say that by repeatedly exposing patients to concentrated levels of oxygen, they can reinvigorate dormant neurons up to two decades after injury in areas of the brain previously considered untreatable. The cells in this location have anaerobic metabolism. It means that the cell have enough energy to stay alive, but it doesn't have the energy needed for the action potential, for the full activity. And this is where the hyperbaric can help. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or HBOT, has been in use since the 60s. But Ifrati is now treating metabolically dysfunctional brain regions previously assumed to be permanently damaged. Neurons with insufficient energy to fire electrical signals are targeted with a tenfold increase of oxygen levels in the body. With the hyperbaric therapy, when the metabolic function is being regained in this area, the patient can speak again. And if it's the motor area of the hand, then the hand will start moving. Years after the acute injury, which is something that was unbelievable to me. I have been taught in medical school that such neuroplasticity so late after the acute injury cannot happen. But we see it. Before her HBOT treatment, university lecturer Shia Dathna Takoa had made no recovery four years after a train crash left her brain damaged and unable to work. I was quite an quite intellectual uh, person and suddenly I couldn't read, I couldn't remember um, uh, what I'm, I'm saying. And I uh, entered the treatment for traumatic brain injury. And it was amazing. It was a, it was a miracle. Ifrati and collaborators from Tel Aviv University treated around 70 post-stroke patients in a metabolic dysfunction study. One was kibbutz coordinator Irit Baruch, whose catastrophic brain aneurysm left her unable to talk or walk unaided. After treatment, she says her condition improved rapidly. <laughs> In the beginning I couldn't walk. Now I can walk, maybe not in the best manner, but it's getting better. In the beginning I couldn't focus on reading, but now I can read. My speech is also more understandable. Ifrati thinks his HBOT adaptation could help vast numbers of stroke patients who might believe it's too late for further treatment. If diagnosed early enough, he says Alzheimer's and vascular dementia sufferers could also see their symptoms improve. With targeted hyperbaric oxygen treatment designed to breathe new life into damaged cells.